Is everyone here? Ay, cepatlah datang. Tak boleh pun datang. For once in your life, datang on time. Ada kau nampak? Aku lembab-lembab. How how are you going to get into working world, you know, working industry, kalau tak boleh nak be on time? You know, people working dekat KL, ataupun working kat UPM, some of them, banyak lecturer sebenarnya duduk jauh tau. Duduk kat Negeri Sembilan, duduk kat Sungai Buloh. Do you know what time they go out? Ada pukul 6 suku dah keluar dah. Pukul 6 dah keluar dah. Sebab kalau lambat 10 minit, memang duduk situ forever. Jangan. If if you keep on, ah tak apalah, nanti bas datang, ah tak apalah. Kau takkan biasa macam tu, you are going to be stressful masa working nanti. Jangan. Find a way to be on time. Like really, really on time. Eh, masalahnya yang tak on time, tak kena maki. Yang on time kena maki kan? Macam it's still pointless. This bad. What happened? Kau oh, cepat, cepat, cepat. You know some of my friends yang kena bangun pagi awal and just to come to job dekat Putrajaya, you know what they said, most of them. This is the punishment sebab during student time, selalu datang lambat. So masa kerja, kena like wake up two times earlier just to be on job. Sebab kalau tak be on job on time, punch card late, merah, you will you will be penalized. Sekarang ni you are not going to be penalized. Ke nak kena penalized juga? Jangan. It's it's not not on time ni. It's so perangai Malaysia. Perangai yang terbawa-bawa pergi masa abroad, international event. Don't do that. Okay. So, there is a slight miscommunication with Mr. Helmi. But maybe it's a good thing. He, he, he had prepared materials for next week. If we work creatively and we finish everything by today, next week you don't have lab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I have a feeling we need to use the entire three hours today to make this happen. Do you want to finish everything today? You might not realize it yet. L let me let me put it this way: if we we if we if we finish this today, you will have a long holiday, because the two weeks from now, I will not make any class or lab. So meaning that if you do it today, your 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 last lecture before holiday is only next Monday, and then you can already go home and then set off the fireworks. <laughs> But we have to finish it until until this is done. So <laughs> this potato thing is done. Okay, okay, right. Uh, so on Monday, you have done A. So the experiment now should be week six. Uh, seed moisture content. So on Monday, you have already done <coughs> um, the A step, which is low temperature, slow drying, long drying. Okay, what seeds did you do? This is corn. This is beans. Bean. I know lah. What kind of bean? Long bean. Are you sure this is long bean? <laughs> <laughs> this is groundnut. <laughs> oh, siapa ajar kau ni long bean? Nampak sangat tak pernah bercucuk tanam. Hey. Okay. Now, I want you to proceed with B. High constant temperature. Um... Manelmi, is the temperature set uh, 130 at the back? Set it, set it. Good, it's set temperature. Eh? <coughs> For A, did you take the dry weight first? Uh, a fresh weight? Okay, 
So do the same again today, but this time with the high temperature for one hour, okay? So do for this both and petri dish. Let me think. Uh, I, I know petri dish is somewhere. Should be. Is it in there? Is it in there? Could I make? Can you check that petri dish? Okay, bring up. So get the petri dish. <coughs> Weigh the fresh weight and then put it in the oven for one hour at 130 degree. All right. Basically, repeat what you did on Monday, but with different temperature. Okay, petri dish is out now. So I think you can make a move. Move quickly so that we can proceed with the next uh, experiment. Go, 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 go. <coughs> Please level on the petri dish, okay? On, on Monday, did, did you use um, bukan granat? Hari Senin pakai bukan long bean bukan 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 kaca tengah. Itu hari Senin. Kau bagi dia orang kering kan? Kacang tanah ke kacang panjang? Yang kacang kacang panjang tu tidak. Oh, on Monday, did you use this seed granat? Okay, proceed with granat. Engkau yang pening. <laughs> Janganlah banyak sangat pening. <laughs> Aku MC tu betul esok. <laughs> okay, please proceed. Please proceed. Guna sana tau, guna sana. Oh, kau buat keluar yang yang lama, yang hari Senin. Just ha, ganti. Saya ingatkan, keluarkan yang lama. Dua kaki uh, madros. Ah, cakap bagi, bagi saksian dia tu. Ah, uh, eh. Tengah sikit. Ay, ay. Listen, listen. Lupa pula, ada petri dish tak tahan panas. Yang tu tak sure. Rasa macam ada patut tahan panas. Mungkin sampai 80 degree je kot. Bukan 130. Oh, macam Oh, okay. Hmm. Tak apa lah. Ganti yang ni tu. Okay. Hari ni akan ikhlas kabut. <laughs> yang yang minggu lepas tak cerita lagi yang popiah tu. <laughs> Orang memang nak bunuh aku kan. Kalau aku tak larat ni. <laughs> <laughs> Why my life like this?
Eh guru pasti pasti ngami ngasimpul jadi nih tipe guru. seedlings only count seedlings that have properly germinated if it looks moldy fungal tempe looking it's not alive we want to count seedlings that have germinated and lively looking not the sick and diseased one okay if you forget reread again this page exercise to germination test a sand media and b purple tower the whole idea is to get gp germination percentage and you're done with it it should be very quick do that <clears throat> Um, <coughs> so have you um, started one hour high temperature drying yes. okay have you counted germination percentage for the two methods yes. okay right <coughs> here's the thing um, for somehow we have the materials for next week um, experiment in front of you 
So this experiment should be done next week, actually, because I need to teach you about the water potential first. You know, have you heard water potential? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here's the thing. Um, I'll do the brief explanation first about the background of water potential. And then you just follow the instruction on the manual. Okay? Don't try too hard to understand things first. This is the, the moment you just do as to. Okay? Because this water potential thing is, 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 is quite... Um, how, how do I put it? It's not really mathematics. It's, it's, it's just something chemistry plus physics. All right? Okay, so you need to be relaxed. You need to, to, to calm down. Right. <clears throat> okay, so look at your manual. And it should be week seven. We are going too fast. The good thing is you, we can finish this semester very early. <clears throat> week seven, um, water and plant. Right. Um, I have given you on the Skype, whatever we put on Skype, the copy is in the folder. Okay, so the copies of this will be in the lab materials folder. In this folder, okay? okay you can find it. <coughs> so, uh, what's the other one? Okay, that, that looks... Right. <coughs> so, water potential, the, the, the idea is um, when you look at the water, like this, this water here. <coughs> Pure water is H2O. This, this is all that we know. Pure water, H2O. So when you have a beaker of water, like the one you have here, this flask here, you got many, many H2O molecule. No impurities. No impurities, meaning that other molecules are not present in between or among the water molecule here. So, such a system, we call this to be high water potential. Pure water, highest water potential. So you might be wondering, what is the word with potential? Can't you just call it water as the way it is? So the potential here means the water that you are talking about now is able to do work. You see, potential means that something has the capacity to do work, meaning that it can move. That what it means by the potential, meaning that the water can move from one system to another system. It is not static. <coughs> I'm very sure about uh, you have seen this um, image before. Let me see. Um, I've, I've opened it actually. Let's see. Yeah, this thing. Let me open that. Oh, that's too small. And I have something bigger. Yeah. Okay. Can you see it? All right. So, pure water. Okay. Water is present almost everywhere in living system. It is present in you. It is present in plant. It is present in animal. Meaning that it is contained within something. So in, in the case of living organisms, it is contained within a membrane, a cell. Do you have cells? Yes. Yeah. Do plants have cells? Yes. Okay. So the cell is bounded by a membrane. Like in this case here, you got your plasma membrane. The thing about plasma membrane is it has got a property. It is not a membrane like a plastic membrane. You know, nothing can get through it. There's no movement allowed. 
the thing about plasma membrane, it has got the properties that we call semi-permeable. Permeable. What's that, Emily? Separa gelap. Telap. Separa telap. Meaning, it does not allow just about anything to go through along it. Only certain material can pass through it. Hence the word semi. What can pass through water? Sorry, what can pass through the membrane? Water. Water, small uh, uh, molecules, because the membrane is equipped with gates. There are many gates in the form of proteins or in the form of pores, small holes. Okay. So water within the bound of this plasma membrane, when this system is within a solution or something, there is a nature law called this osmotic equilibrium. For some reason, in nature, the amount of water molecule in the membrane system here will always try to achieve equilibrium, meaning that the same number of water molecules in between the two systems. So outside the cell, you have water as well. Inside the cells, you have water as well. However, because there are other things present in the cells, the water potential loses its purity. Okay? So you have water potential. By the way, water potential has a symbol. Okay? This is the symbol of water potential. Make sure you know how to write it. Psi. It is a Greek letter. Psi. From the... the you, you, you know the story of Little Mermaid? No? The, 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 the daddy of the Little Mermaid. The, the, the Ocean King. Poseidon. Poseidon. He got that thing, the fish pot thing. So this thing can give the power. Right. So it is named after him, Sidon, the ocean god. Greek, Greek god. Okay. Don't worry, nobody going more that yet, just yet. So we use this psi um, uh, symbol. Okay. Sometimes it can, it can be written like this. Remember, okay, when it comes to great letter, it has got the uh, capital case and also the small case or lower case. Right? So, you have your water potential here. Water potential of pure water equals zero. Embed this into your head first. Water potential of pure water equals zero. The moment something is added to the water, it can be anything. It can be sugar, it can be salt, or maybe you just put your finger into the water. The water potential, this thing will can go to either positive value or negative value. Okay? In the case of the beaker here, originally, there's only water, but somehow you decide to add some foreign solute. So you got this, let's say that it's salt over here. Is this pure or impure? impure yeah. So they become impure now. So when it becomes impure, immediately this water potential here now becomes negative. Negative. And the unit of water potential is? The unit? Psi is the symbol. The unit of it is mega pascal. <coughs> mega pascal. Mega because usually the number is 
very small 0 0.000000 that's why we use mega and we use the unit pascal okay <coughs> so can you follow so far all right okay so the moment you put foreign substance into the pure water solution you get negative mega pascal it is no longer zero can you make it positive how add more water you can add the whole planet of water it just still zero pure water is always zero <coughs> So that's your water here. If you put a pressure, you put a pressure, what happened to the water here? This will go up, right? That is a plus movement. So in this case, the water potential will plus mega Pascal. Okay? Pressure. Pressure. No solute. If you put solute, it will become negative back. So that's the concept. However, most of the time, this is what I want to highlight to you. Most of the time, you can see that this is the formula of it. <coughs> I'll just rub this, okay? In order to get the value of water potential there are many components that determine it gravity what's this pressure what's this dissolved salt or other things other things a scientist just put it it can be anything maybe some soul get dissolved in the water it will increase it it will increase or oh, I don't know whether it's increased. So you can see that in order to get a water potential, you need to take into account all of these things. Okay. At your level, introduction level, usually we ignore this. We ignore this. We ignore this. You are only dealing with these two only, which is the pressure and dissolved solutes. All right. Okay. So that is the activity for today. We are trying to determine the water potential of your potato after it has been subjected to various solution concentration. Okay, we want to know after the potato has been soaked in solution of different sucrose concentration will the water move out of the system so you have your potato and then you have the surrounding solution this surrounding solution can come out in the form of molarity remember molarity yes. what is it there is two actually more molarity and molality. What is molarity? Moles per liter. How about molality? Moles per 1000 grams. Please remember this. What is moles? What is moles? Moles. You need to understand this, okay? Otherwise, uh, because this is going to be used like <coughs> later on, you are dealing with fertilizer and stuff. You need to, to, to understand this concept. What is moles? Throw this away. Moles. What is it? Whoever can tell me moles correctly and simply don't have to take exam bilangan zara so if i say my age is 24 what do you want to call it 
my happy time. What is it? What is most? That zero six point zero two is another is called another thing. <coughs> Think. I want I want you to remember this. Sampai engkau masuk lubang, bangun pada lubang pun kau still ingat benda ni. Okay? Imagine imagine this way. Most is actually some some words in chemistry or in physics. When you see the words, you should have a mental association with a number. Even though it's it's written like when 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 I write this do you imagine this or do you imagine this or do you imagine this why 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 that's the way it is right this is the what we call it common convention common convention okay let's see i, I put a uh, word I want you to turn my word into number. Hello. How about pair? Did you got? Doesn't hundred? Okay. Hundred or thousand? Hundred or thousand? Who say hundred? Three. Who say this is hundred? Millennium is hundred. One, two. Okay, who says thousand? <laughs> <laughs> Who's like clueless? Want to go back to standard one? <laughs> Alfun. Who who learns Arabic? Alfun means what? Alfun hundred. It's not like I'm writing this. <laughs> Which one? Which one? Which one is thousand? Which one is hundred? Million thousand three hundred. Ah, ayah sangat. Okay, okay. So you get the idea, right? So what about mo? Which is no this. Is uh, I got a special nom, uh, name to it, Avogadro's constant or number. Get it? Get it? This thing, ten to the power of twenty-three, you can turn into word. Um, <coughs> billion, billion. This is already nine zero. This is already nine zero. Billion, billion. Uh, what else? Million. Thousand. Thousand three. This is nine nine eighteen. This plus three twenty one. That's another two hundred. Six. Billion, billion, thousand, hundred. You change this into words. Can you see that? Can you see that? Okay, okay. So, mole, whenever you say a mole of water, it is always the same as in the terms of number of molecules of water as iron. 
one mole of water equals one mole of iron, one mole of human, one mole of sugar, one mole of sins. It is always this number. 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. Or if you want to convert it into words, 6 billion billion thousand hundred sins. Ah. So how many years you're going to be in Hawaii? Right. Okay. So we got it right. Yeah. So that's what moles mean. Meaning that we are talking about the number of water molecules in this case. <clears throat> so for the activity today, <clears throat> you are going to use this formula. It is called Van Hoff's osmotic potential equation. Okay, I think it's 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 in the in this page here, but it doesn't it doesn't say. I think it, it does say it does say it does say the component here. So in order to get what is this water potential S stand for solute. So this is the formula I times C times R times T. I is the ionization constant or Van Hoff factor in some books. Some old books call it Van Hoff factor. And then you've got C, which is the concentration of solute. Molarity. Okay. Or molality. Sorry. Molality. Moles per 1000 grams. <coughs> Water. H2O, one gram of water equals to one mil of water. I'm talking about pure water. At one in atmospheric pressure. Very simple to remember. One gram of water equals one mil of water. If I need one kilogram of water, how much water I need? If I need one kilo of water, how much liter I need? One liter. Okay. Right. Okay. So we just plug in this equation into here. So for today's, what do you need to do? Yeah. Here comes the experiment. Okay. I'll just explain until that. Further things, we'll look at the class. Okay. Right. So for today's activity, look at this page. Okay. Objective one to determine dynamic equilibrium between potato tissue and solution. Right. So you are presented with various solution here of sucrose concentration. I need you to use this. What's this? What's the Latin name of it? What's the family of it? So, 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 so. The Nas. Okay. Just follow the instruction here, okay? Starting with number two. Use a cork borer. This is a borer, okay? It has got this cutter here. And then, have you used this before? Take your potato. Very carefully, use the borer to plunge into the tissue. Don't plunge into your friend's head. <laughs> This is not to play around, even though something can happen. Make a twisting move. Then all the way in. You got it right? Yeah. Natural juices will flow out as expected. You can go all the way in. You got it right? Bring it up. Press the potato. <laughs> Use this to push. Very gently. You don't want to, to, to turn it into mashed potato. This is not KFC. Very gently. You got it. Okay. Use your ruler to have a consistent length of this strip of potato. 
or pellet of potato. Um, about one centimeter is good enough. One centimeter. Anybody can get a ruler? Cut it. I don't bring my ruler. Yeah. Ruler pun tak ada. Borrow. So get one centimeter of this and then cut it. Okay. Half a few of this. So for each solution, the idea is you need to do this maybe about three for each solution. Careful, okay? This is, um, this capful is rather sharp. Put it in here. And then you need to prepare how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of these sets. And then pour it with solution. Label it. Do not forget which one is which. And then just leave it. Oh, wait. I think we need to uh, weigh it first. Yeah, we need to weigh it first. Take it out. Forgot. Blood dry. You see all the juices, right? Yeah. yeah. Blood. What is meant by blotting dry is gently dab it. Okay? Don't squeeze it. Don't squeeze it. You're not making putu kacang. Okay. Okay. No, no obvious water dri dripping out of it. Then weigh it. Okay. Weigh it. Then only you put it in here. And then put the solution. For all eight beakers. Set the timer for, I think what it should be one hour. Yeah. Yeah. Set the timer for one hour. Okay. And after one hour, bring it out again. Blood dry by dabbing it, reweigh again, and also look at the length of this. Use the ruler again. Because if we are following the movement of water, the water can go in or out of the tissue. If, if it comes in, what happened to this? Is it going to be one centimeter or less or more? More. Okay. So this should remind you of your lesson from school isotonic solution, hypotonic solution, and hypotonic solution, okay? And with all of this information, fill in in here. Fill in in here, but still do your Excel, okay? Remember you have your Excel now, right? Okay? Don't worry about this osmotic potential column just yet. This we will learn later how to do this, all right? Yeah. However, this thing doesn't have the length of it. Can you add column for length? Okay. The length. Yeah. That is all to it. Is that clear? Yes. Is that clear? Yes. Can, you, can you do it? Yes. Nak cuti raya tak? Ha. Anak bangkit buat. Pergi. Abai. Go, 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 go. If you're not clear, I tell you, dear. Okay, wah. Ada queen. Beberapa pelatih. Okay, tapi dia orang hanya pelatih. Yeah, any marks? It's not like you have activity. You want test or you want activity? Jumping same place thousand times. <laughs> if, if the time almost one hour for the drying, send somebody from the group to get the seeds and weigh after drying. Where is the oven? Is it next door? Ah, quickly check.
Hmm. Yang dah sudah boleh buang dah kan? Dah sudah, dah ni, dah kira Ah, Dah kira boleh nah, nah. <coughs> Make sure you take pictures along the way For all experiment You need to do the report for that Mi, ada envelope ke? Dia orang nak bagi kering. Envelope atau kertas. Kejap lagi dia orang nak tuai yang itu. Ha -ha. Boleh, tak ada dah. Boleh. Boleh, bekas apa pun boleh. Tapi ini uh, slow drying lah. Jangan sampai 130 pula. Oh, tu nak berapa? Uh, 40, 50, 50 berapa? 50 okey kot. <coughs> Ada. Ah. Ni sebenarnya boleh boleh je kerak dua ni. Kalau besar sangat. Ah, lepas tu apa? Ah, Tepler kan. Apa ni? Okay, once you're done, send somebody to get your growing corn from outside. Bring the trays over here. Send somebody from the group. You, you need to do the good management now because we have so many things in one day. <laughs> Lagi demam. <laughs> Lagi banyak benda kena fikir. <laughs> Kenapa lah my life selalu macam ni? <sighs> uh, aku suruh dia orang potong je lah nanti. Uh. Aku rasa elok, elok macam ni ke macam ni? Ke pokok tu tinggi? Kalau pokok tu tinggi okay, macam ni. Kan? Lepas tu dia ambil stapler, mari kita cuba Mari kita cuba satu Sebab dia bukan banyak pokok sangat pun Kan? So yang ini Just the Staple kan? Hmm, kettle. Boleh masuk? Boleh lah. Hmm, ni dah. Kaku yang tersalah potong, tak tak imbang. Hmm, ni boleh tak? Satu aku, satu uh, shoot. Betul? Tu dia level. Kettle. <coughs> Okay, those that do not have any job, come here to make your own 
drying envelopes for your corn. You need to you need to cut it into half like this, and then staple the opening. One is for the root, one is for the shoot. Weigh the fresh wheat, record the data, put shoot and root respectively into each envelope, then dry it, then collect on Monday. Okay, but is everybody growing? I think everybody is growing. Yeah. So do that. This hasn't been cut. You need to cut it first. Then use, use the stapler. Yep. Did, did you just start? Yeah. Did, did you just start? What, what, what happened to this? I, I think some of you just started, right? You, you regrow it. <clears throat> this group, what, what happened to the other group? One, two, three. What about the other two? This can have us already. This, not this one. Not this one. This one. This one. Maybe, maybe. Okay, okay. Second harvest. Harvest half of it. <clears throat> um, maybe I can show you one. Bring over here. Get the envelope. So, um, oh, I need a, I need a pen. Can you get it? Give me a pen. Okay. Please don't pull right away, okay? You need to loosen the soil first because you don't want to hurt the root. Or maybe you can use your finger. Very gently. Do not water it now. This is not the time to do the watering. You need, you need to... If, if you... Yeah, you can use that as well. Okay, got it. You see the roots has, has traveled all the way. Right. Okay. <coughs> um, beaker of water, please. And tissue, please. Okay. So this is your seedling. So you need to, the, the idea is you need to rinse off the dirt first and then blood dry and then have it weigh. That is the fresh weight. Just the root, don't make this shoot part becoming wet. Just like that. Then you can rinse another one way. It looks clean, clean. Okay, let's clean, then carefully blot dry. Blot dry un until you don't see the water shadow. That means um, excess water has been removed because you want to weigh the fresh weight of the ceiling, not the fresh weight of the water. Any water shadow? No, and that's good. So now you can remove it. <coughs> So what part you need to take? So can I get some envelope, the ready envelope? Okay, so cut this. Just the root. Oh, take picture, don't forget to take picture. Take picture, put Put, I think it's a good idea to have all the seedlings in one go. Have all, all depending on the number of that you manage to germinate. If you got five, 
five, six or six. Have everything in one go. Put a ruler. Ruler. We got the ruler and then snap the image. Okay. Right. Once you're done with that, then only take the root here. You don't want the seed, okay? We do not want the seed. Just the root. Okay. Take this to be weighed. After you have weighed, this is your fresh weight for the root. Okay. Then you put it in the envelope. You know what? I think maybe this you can cut into two. So that one root is one because you need to label it. Because once this has dried up next week, you need to remember the initial fresh weight and dry weight. All right. So plan the work accordingly. Do not get things messed up and mixed up. Right. Okay. So let's, let's, let's assume that we use half of this and you want to label it. Use your creativity to, 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 to get this done. Carefully, okay? Carefully put it every single bit of it. Right. And then put the label. Put the label. And better yet, what, what was the initial fresh weight for this organ? So that next week when you take it, you, you already know. So the whole idea we need to know the the difference of the moisture because if you remember from the growth analysis the formula requires t1 and t2 today is t1 t2 next week all right okay to drying uh i think we can use that oven 50 degree 50 degrees centigrade and we'll come back on monday to to bring everything out okay is that clear is that clear okay do now do now <coughs> oh don't forget to do the same for the shoot okay they should do the same. You don't want the seed. Remove the seed. We do not want this pink bit. Yes. Just the root, just the shoot. All right? Okay. All right, do that. Ah. How, how is your group? Are you okay? Huh? Kunci lah. Serius? Satu kunci lah ni satu ni. Kunci, kunci kau tak? Cuma ni lah tu. Kenapa tak boleh? Because I don't have keys to my room. Kamu ni, ada tak buku kopi dia sangat kan? Eh, kan sama. Kalau kau jumpa tiba-tiba dua orang geng aku kat London, kau betul kau suruh nak, nak suruh dia ajar fizio. Aha. Ah, ni. Ya, belim the knob. Ini dia bukan Tapi boleh buka Cuba dia Cuba the The, the small knob Kita keluar Masa tak boleh buka tu Ni benda ni. Ha. Jap. Dah. 
ni kau kena tekan ni dalam masa yang sama lepas tu pusing-pusingkan dia untuk release kan hmm. kita kena macam ni tu maksudnya benda yang lama dah dia kena spray apa boleh, boleh, boleh. Ah, boleh, boleh tu boleh boleh ok the other one let bio are you sure Kau dah jadi psikis tak boleh tak jadi certain about it Does it work? Maksudnya, I do not have key to my own room Tapi ada kunci ke bilik makcik tu Why? Tak aku, iya ni tak ada Hmm, okay, I should have a kunci bilik aku Nanti tolong, adakah satu? Adakah satu? Mungkin nak buat warna hijau Kenapa ni ada warna? Bagi cukup bunch dia Yang ni, kita pakai IAA ke NAA Untuk oksin Yang ada dalam simpanan IAA kot? IAA Sebab aku rasa tahun lepas Aku bagi satu lagi ni, natural oksin Ambil daripada pokok Jadi merana lebih tu Tahun lepas aku buat macam tu Memang lah buat benda juga Tapi ada satu lagi solution Solution tu, dia buat pada ni Yang mana? Wilo, 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 pokok wilo Yang melempai-lempai meram-merambu Oh, hijau-hijau ni? Ya, hijau Yang meram-merambu macam nak menangis Oh Dalam pokok tu ada ada natural Ini, apa ni? Indies untuk apa? Hmm Nak habis kali yang pokok tu macam mana? Yang ini mungkin kena ambil awal kot Mungkin hari Isnin tu Lepas lecture Suruh diorang ambil dan prepare Tapi kau kena sediakan uh, Bekas saja lah kot Balang ke apa Dia macam ni, dia ambil benda ni ha? Dia gusik-gusik, racik-racik-racik Dia masuk dalam botol ha? Isi air ha? Lepas tu pegang dalam fridge Lepas tu hari Rabu Gunakan dia Bersama salah satu lagi treatment 
untuk tunjukkan natural uh, oh, ni sebab oh, dia buat rupa kau kolis dengan dia uh, lah. sebab dia untuk root initiation dalam tu pun ada oksigen juga ah uh, pokok pokok ni cuma tu lapang aku rasa kita tak guna kolis kita guna um, bunga raya ah uh. hmm. Hmm. Badan ada tak dalam bekas yang kecil boleh tak? Ya macam bekas balang kecil kecil ke macam ada ya, ya, yang ada penutup yang boleh tutup. Ni penutup ni. Ah boleh? Ya. Hmm. Ya. Bisnes tu. Tapi kita cuba sampai sini tu saya rasa. Ya ke? Minggu raya tu. Saya rasa sampai sini. Sini tu boleh berdiri rasanya. Sini tak ada kelas rasanya. Sebab hari buruh. Ha, sini. Rasa ni rasa ni. Tak apalah kalau 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 hari Isnin tu mau cuti kita jumpa rasa je untuk dia cerita benda ni. <laughs> dia boleh juga satu lagi cara dia adalah hari Rabu dia orang petik benda ni. Lepas tu dia letak dalam a uh, gelas ke apa, lepas tu terus masukkan cutting tu. Kita biar aje dalam tu. Biar terendam. Macam oksigen ni serbuk kan. Ha. Yang ni tak? Ini air ya. Air rendaman janda merana ha, Lepas tu kita, kita biar je Biarlah dia duduk kat tepi tepi Sampai dia roting Benda rendam dengan air biasa je lah Air biasa yang ada soaking ni Kan kita rendam dia ha? Rendam dia Dia punya larutan oksin tu kan turun Oh daripada pokok tu sendiri? Daripada pokok tu sendiri ha. oh. So ambil pokok tu Racik-racik-racikkan daun Masukkan daun tu sampai takat daun ni ke okay. ha, Lepas tu isikan air sampai takat ni okay. Lepas tu ambil cutting apa-apa masuk lah ni Pia je Satu cutting kolia sebab <laughs> Oh hmm. Oh ok 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 Oh dia boleh pokok tu ada air isi Dalam lah. dia ada 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 root ini initiation ah. juga <coughs> Cuma kita kena ada cling foil lah kot Apa ni aluminium foil Sebab sebab uh, tak nak bagi cahaya tu breakdown uh, oksin ah. Hmm. Jadi budak-budak boleh compare apa tu sintetik oksin ha? dengan natural oksin. Ha. Uh, yang mana tumbuh lagi lagi laju? Tahu so, bukannya tu ada kau ada dua ni sebab dia elok belajar. Day. Are you busy though throughout the day or do you have some time in the evening? What? Oh okay. What 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 about on Tuesday? Full. Okay. Do, do, is all of you having the same timetable? Uh, oh. Okay. What about the other group? On Tuesday. Do you have gap? <coughs> Just now, BSP or horticulture? Horticulture. Where are BSP? Do you have gap on, on Tuesday? When? Okay, 11 until 4. All right. Um One you got class. I I want the gap time, the one that you do not have class, not the time you have class. Kau faham ni cakap apa? <laughs> Nobody understand why you talk. 11, 12 and then? 3, 4. The other group? <coughs> we we need to find uh, about one hour and a half so that I can give you activity as your first test and tell you what to do with the data okay because when you come back from your mid semester break on monday is holiday as well okay and i won't be around next week on wednesday 
So that's why you only have either um, Monday or Tuesday. Anytime. We need about one, one hour and a half. On, on Monday, do you have class until what time? Okay, horticulture on Monday. Two to three. After that? Okay, so three you are free. Eh, if we need to do this, we need pukul 8 malam kau balik, pukul 8 kau balik. <laughs> okay, so horticulture 3 p.m. Okay. Okay. BSP, 3 p.m. on Monday? Okay, all right. Once you're done with your stuff, maybe you can come back here so that I can tell you what, what to do. And also to finish off all your this this um how to do the calculation and the report. Okay, so we, we assume to finish around five something, then you're good to go. All right, okay, all right, okay. 3 p.m. on Monday. So in the morning, come as usual for the lecture, and then in the evening, come back later. Okay, all right. So hari Senin, aku datang sini balik lah pukul tiga. Untuk, untuk, untuk ni. Tak ada orang guna kan? Pukul tiga. Ha. Pukul tiga. Ha. Ha. Tiga sampai lima lah pun. Tak apa kalau kau nak balik awal. Tak apa je. Ha. Aku just tutup je lah nanti. Boleh eh? Alright. <coughs> Isnin. Ha. 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 Berapa bulan? On, on Monday. On the 10th. 10th of April. Okay. Kau nak syukir raya tak? Ah, jadi, jadi sila datang. Oh, bring bring your laptop again because we don't have time to do today. Okay. Okay, are you done? Yes. So make sure that you are done with a number of things today. You are done with the experiment seed drying. We have four today. Let me let me, let me repeat again. <clears throat> so on Monday, on the on the um, what's the date is on the first of May, no class because that's Labor Day. Okay, so that's why we need to reschedule things a bit. And plus, I I don't want. Uh, we are not going to have any class or lecture or, or sorry or lab on the 17 and 19 so that kau boleh balik raya awal yay aku nak raya awal aku kena pengen measurement uh, experiment um yes yes so it's possible if I mean like provided that other classes of you do the same uh, at least for my class uh, aku dah bagi raya kan all right. Okay. So first thing first. So make sure for. Uh, let me see. It should be week number three. You see, nanti dia lakukan kerja kan? Bila kerja banyak, kau nak MC pun tak boleh. I should have MC today. Um, week number five, seat viability. So that is done for the TZ test, and then for the second exercise which is send media and paper towel spring roll is that done now for germination percentage this is it done yeah. done done the group yeah. done okay good so just jot down all the data first whatever data that you have make sure that you have your copy and put it on the excel have you created the excel can you wrap the board Somebody got the bot. Got the bot. Okay, let's see. Um, so this is for leaf area determination. So got the bubble saw, case, mitochondria, helenthus, banana. Banana, where is your data? 
Where? Ah, tak ada tolak markah aku dah kata kan? Siapa suruh kau tak sa'in? Lepas tu, kau nak suruh opah aku sa'in kau untuk kau? Okay, do the same for other experiment. This is for leaf area determination. So you have other experiment involving um, seed viability, seed testing. So do the same, create new Excel for this. So everything is organized. Each group, please have your own sheet. This sheet, okay? And if you want to put picture, you want to put link, that's up to you. All right? Okay, we will learn how to do the regression. The regression that I was talking about because I saw something in this manual. Uh, where is it? <clears throat> that should be this thing. Week four. Correlation coefficient for leaf area data. This thing. So we'll have a look at this next week on Monday. I'll show you. Ke kau tahu je nak buat macam mana? Tu tak tahu. Ni tak tahu. Okay. Right. So, and then second thing. So, we're done with the TZ testing and the send, send method also the spring roll. And then secondly is the week seed. Week seed. Week six. <laughs> week. Seed moisture content. You got A and B. A, you did it on Monday. Long drying. Are you done with that? Yeah. Have you weighed it? Yeah. All right. How about B? Not yet. Not yet? Yeah. <coughs> B, you changed the, the temperature to 130 degree. Okay, done. So, jot down everything and start to get the moisture content. Please create every data nicely on the Excel sheet. Okay. Or you have the, your raw data and also you have the data after it has been calculated. All right? So do that properly. And since you have group folders, you can insert images into the folder as well. Never insert images without title. Put the name, put the caption for the image so we know what's going on. All right? Okay. And then fill up this table for the fresh weight, dry weight, and to get the percentage of moisture, right? So we are done with seed moisture, A and B. All group, okay? All right. Okay, and then number seven, which is the uh, water potential. We have not had the lecture just yet, but we do the experiment first. But the introduction to it, I've given to you um, earlier today. So, have you finished with this? Or are you still waiting? Waiting. Still waiting. But you have taken the initial weight and length. Yeah. Okay. All right. All good. All good. Yeah. Remember to add extra column to here, which is the length. The, the difference of the length. Okay. Because from that, you can, you can calculate the volume. So initial, this is the shape of the potato that you cut. We want to see whether it goes, it becomes shorter or it becomes longer. And then what is the volume? This thing is not in here. I ask you to add it. Okay, please add it. Do you know to calculate the volume for the potato pellet? How do you calculate the volume? What shape is this? Cylinder. So, how do you get it? So, you, you get the, um, the circle area first. Pi radius to the power of 2. Here you go. Hey, here you go. Times height. So you got the volume of cylinder. 
So this is your circle here. So that, that will be the center. So this would be the radius. Okay, pi 3.14 times radius to the power of 2. And then go up this line here. So this would be your height. Then you got your volume. Make the volume um, in the form of cubic centimeter. All right. Can you do that? Yeah. Very easy. All right. <clears throat> and finally, which is number four, the growth analysis. This thing. Have you, have, have you harvested the first P1? So it will be different for, for some groups. Okay, some group you will have bigger plants because you are doing well throughout the time. Some groups, they drown the seeds. So they have to restart it again. So me, ensure that you have harvested the minimum of three. More is better. Have you done it? Yes. Okay. Two envelope. One is for shoot. One is for root. And for individual plant. Have you written the weight, initial weight, the fresh weight? Okay, good. So, on um, Monday, <coughs> Monday, uh, you will come. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. see. No, no, no. Not Monday. Not Monday. No, Monday, we will do other thing. You need to harvest for P two. That you will do on Wednesday. Just that, like today, but next week. Do that exactly like that, like what you did today. Put everything in oven, then come back on Friday next week. Reweight again. Then you're done. We get it? We get it? For, for this experiment today, you harvested the P1. P1. Half of the samples, let's say that you have you have managed to germinate 10 corn seedlings, you only harvested five today. Correct. These five have been undergone destructive sampling. You cut it to root and shoot parts, you weigh the fresh weight, and then you put into the oven. So that's already destructive. When you come back on Monday. Reweigh for the dry weight. Okay. For the T2, the second week, do the harvesting again like today, Wednesday. Just that. Meaning that I won't be around, but you can finish it like half an hour. Just do that. Do that again. Mr. Helmi will provide this again. Repeat again for the bigger plants and put it in oven, come back on Friday to do the dry weight weighing. Okay, about the fertilizer. The groups that got no problem, you have fertilized last week, right? This week, no need to fertilize. This group that got issues so much with life, fertilized today. Have you fertilized? Yes. Okay, so just once. 100 kilogram of nitrogen per hectare. That's about 5.3 gram something per tray. Okay. So next week, harvest on Wednesday. So you are not going to have a similar result with the groups that have a bigger plant. But the concept is similar. The magnitude should be similar. Absolute value is different. However, the trend is similar. Just that. So whatever data that you have, um, jot down the data, put it in Excel. Then we'll, we'll deal with it later. Okay? All right. Okay, I think that's all for experiment in one day. Can you catch? Yeah. Right? You know, I can assure you, no class will undergo this. I, I, even I don't understand why this potato come about today. <laughs> All right, okay. Any question? Any group drowning? Why, why nothing? What happened to your corn? Put corn, your corn back outside. Make sure you, wat you, you water your corn, okay? All right. Okay. So all good? All good?
Is your potato done? Is it done? Ah, tunggu apa lagi? Meja. If if your group if your group is done, it should be one hour. Is it one hour now? Aku pun dah satu jam. Ah, kau buat kerja lembab. Ah, sebab tu lah. <laughs> ah, menyembang. Ah, yeah, yeah, blame the people. Okay, if <coughs> if you if the time is up for your group, uh, proceed now. Okay. Ah, uh, clear. All good. All right, all right. Okay. <coughs> In the meantime, you can create the Excel and do that. Okay. If you have done it, just let other other group know. Okay, we have created a new Excel file for this experiment. <coughs> If you do not have anything, I think if you are done with your group, you can clean up and tidy up your bench, and then you can you can leave. All right, okay. So I'll see you again on Monday. All right. Okay. Bye. Are you done this group? Okay. Where's your potato?